Let's get started with Zoom events and sessions. In this guide, you'll learn exactly how to set up your first event, from choosing the right event type to crafting the perfect attendee experience. Ready to master Zoom events? Let's dive in. Everything starts at events.zoom.us. The process begins by hitting the big blue button to create an event. We are now taken to a template launch pad where we can build off of previously created templates, duplicate a past event, or start with a blank slate. In our case, let's start with a blank event. The event build process starts with an initial wizard where you can set up the basic framework for your event. This wizard lets us configure our event type, basic event details, audience experience, and session type. We will go through all four of these areas in detail. Let's start with event type. The most popular event type is single session full. This event type fits the bill when you want to create a single day, one time event with a single meeting or webinar session. This event type includes an event lobby that can be branded and used to showcase speaker bios, a description of your session, along with up to 50 downloadable files for your audience. This event lobby is where all of your participants will land before they join your session. And when your event is over, the same lobby experience delivers the session recording to your audience. The join button simply converts to a watch recording button. It's now an easy answer when your audience asks if the recording and slide deck will be made available. Your answer can now be, yep, right in the lobby. The other single session type is light. This event type is perfect when you just need a quick webinar link with minimal attendee experience, except for the session itself. One great thing about this event type is that even your more basic webinars can now live in your organizer hub for everyone on your event team to be able to view, edit, and host. Moving on, let's look at recurring session events. We support two different types of recurring session events. First, repeating content, where all the sessions in your recurring session event are the same. The lobby stays simple with speakers, descriptions, reference materials, and a clean list of upcoming and past session dates and times, and with recordings as they become available. Recurring session events with different content function more like a series of episodes, where each instance can have its own title, image, speakers, and downloads. This type is great for a training series or monthly updates, or would be great for your weekly podcast series as well. Finally, multi-session events are an incredibly powerful event type. This event type is only available for Zoom events license holders. Multi-session events unlock an entirely different event lobby, along with the capabilities to run conference-style events that span up to six days, involve multiple tracks with numerous sessions, including up to 15 concurrent sessions, perfect for breakout room content. This event type also introduces new features like live streaming to the lobby, sponsors, a virtual expo floor, and networking capabilities. As you can see, multi-session events are a step up in terms of attendee experience and event capabilities. And this unlocks all kinds of possibilities for dynamic, virtual, and hybrid events. We've covered all of the available event types. Let's move right now into our basic event fields. Here, we can input our event name, date, and time, and upload an event image. The next major choice that you have is the attendee experience. The hybrid and in-person event types unlock the Zoom mobile app for your attendees. This allows you to include details about the venue location and use the app for on-site check-in and session navigation. Having your in-person attendees join the session on their mobile devices opens up all sorts of audience engagement possibilities with tools like Q&A, polling, and reactions. The last thing to consider is the type of session that best fits your event needs. Zoom events and sessions support both meeting and webinar style sessions. Meetings allow every attendee to be on camera, speak, and in general, fully participate in your session. All of the power of Zoom meetings is at your disposal in these sessions. Zoom meetings support up to 1,000 participants, and yes, there are lots of ways to keep these sessions organized and to prevent disruptions. Be sure to familiarize yourself with the host panel. Webinars feel and function more like a stage presentation. 
with panelists and speakers being able to see one another and communicate freely, while your audience members can watch and listen to that content and engage in primarily text-based methods, things like chat, Q&A, and reactions. With Zoom events, you have one more option for your webinar, Simulive Webinars. Simulive Webinars allow you to reuse previously recorded content as your event content. Simply attach your video file to the webinar, set the start time, and off it goes. This is a great way to replay session content for new audiences who are maybe in a different time zone while maintaining audience engagement with things like chat and resources. Hosts and moderators can still join the session to answer Q&A or launch polls. Hopefully this section left you feeling inspired with some fresh event ideas to take back to your team. Let's hit save and continue and jump into the event builder. Now that we've gone through that initial setup process, the event configuration tab is where we can review and make changes to any of those settings. One setting that is particularly helpful to review is event capacity. Here you can confirm the size of your event or even intentionally limit the size of your audience. And if you're hosting a free event, you can allow oversell, which raises your registration capacity to allow for event attrition. If you're running a paid event and do sell out and your audience is beating down the door, this is a good problem to have, you can customize the message that those attendees see, perhaps instructing them to view the recording later or watch the live stream back on your website. All right, we have built out the basics of our event. Before we publish, however, we will want to pay close attention to our attendee journey. In our next video, we will go through all of the registration and join options. Thank you for choosing Zoom events.